Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Hey girl, hey. I don't know, I don't know, okay. This is what happened. Yesterday I was in a weird space. I actually had a market on Saturday and then I went to the gym on Sunday. So that threw off my went Like, okay, so much social interactions on Saturday. And then Sunday I worked out really heavy. So Monday I woke up and I was just like, clean up my house and I did these tape-ins. Like these are tape-ins, guys. I did my tape-ins yesterday and I cleaned up severely, like laundry and all that stuff. I live in a really big house, so it's very challenging to continue with everything. I'm five foot if you, you're brand new to this channel. Five foot, little baby, but a big house. Um, but yeah, yesterday was weird. I just cleaned, I did my tape-ins, and then I went and I got some bacon bits and made some bacon pasta. And then I walked on the treadmill for 30 minutes. I came home, washed my face, and fell asleep at 8 p.m. Like, I don't know. I fell asleep at 8 p.m. So then I woke up at 2. And usually with that, I would just try to go back to sleep. Because I'm still programmed to think that I have a 9 to 5. But then it occurred to me, I don't have a 9 to 5. There's no reason to go back to sleep. So here I am, um, it is 4 a.m. and I was like, let's just get ready. So I got all the way ready, as you can see, because my goal is to pack an order on in for TikTok and then make like more TikToks and then clean up down here and then just get everything done that I always put off because typically during the day, I just get distracted and it's like, if you can wake up yourself super early, you cannot be distracted. So that's our goal. As I said before, this was at 4 a.m. I wanted to encourage you guys to get up early. If you wake up in the middle of the night, definitely take it as a sign that you should stay up. I mean, the creativity was there. Like, I didn't even get annoyed with packing this order. Like, I always get annoyed when I pack orders. <laughs> I wasn't annoyed. I was productive and organized and all neat. I wasn't anxious or anything. I was very calm, which I'm finding... It may be due to you subconsciously feeling the energy of others and when they're asleep you don't feel it as much but here I was just cleaning up my candle studio before I got to work with my TikToks um, your girl before this I want to preface I showered put on my makeup and I got fully ready and then I just decided to clean up thoroughly so that melter there is a two auto which we'll get into later after cleaning I made some amazing TikToks that actually did really well in my myself, myself. Thank you to myself. <laughs> In myself, myself. Show my wrist, but I put that. Talk crazy when I put up this. So I have been using Truly Beauty religiously and I'm in love and I'm obsessed and I don't feel guilty about it. Okay, so I start with my cleanser and then I go in with a scrub if I'm ready to shave. And typically I shave my armpits, but what I found is you need to shave your armpits with, um, you need to exfoliate your armpits before you shave them because, oh my God, it feels so much better. Like I, I remember shaving my armpits just with shaving cream and they're itching and it's just irritated um but if you exfoliate before you do it it literally like i guess opens up the follicles or helps the follow or um stimulates the follicles so then when you're shaving it um it's not as irritated after it grows out so it grows evenly and softer i don't feel no itching i feel smooth and soft and easy easy beautiful cover girl <laughs> yeah it's very firm boobies and then you could go in after the shower after you use all the polishes in the shower you could go in with the serum it's like a lightning tightening brightening serum i put that on but then you put on your booty butter and it like firms your booty and it's really good and then there's a booty a booba butter that i put on and it firms my boobies and it's really good and i put on this serum like for pigment barbie serum is fire barbie serum and then i put on um some acne prevention lotion it smells so clean 
it's like a lavender clean scent. Like, I don't know, I'm obsessed with Truly Beauty. Like, Truly Beauty makes you feel truly beautiful, too. <laughs> so today, 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 I have an interview at one. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so super happy. I say hallelujah because I follow this girl on YouTube, and she's Hispanic, and she knows God. I feel like God is universal. God is Asian, Black, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, White, Haitian, all of that. God is everywhere. So I'm super excited for that. I'm supposed to get some HelloFresh today, six meals, because I got this free thing where it was like, you get six meals for $11. So um, they've been playing with my life because honestly I have done this like 10 times. Because what happens with HelloFresh is once you get, you'll get a card in the mail of like a free HelloFresh, right? So then you buy the free HelloFresh. In that box, they give you another free card. So then you just, um, it's a free card with new sign up. So you just create a new email and sign up again, right? And I did that like 10 times. And this will be my 11th time. But this time, what they've been doing is like if they see my address, for some reason, 11 is the charm. They saw my address, so they like canceled it. And I was like, why'd you cancel it? Because you, because we recognize the same address, same name. <laughs> he, he was like, he put all the emails and he put an emoji, like a emoji. <laughs> and then, um, after he did that, uh, I was like, can you reinstate it? He was like, yeah. So he just did it. He reinstated it. So it's out for delivery. So yes, this is the same day another order came in and I just decided to actually pack it immediately. I've just been in my bag. I don't know. So it's some um, custom fragrance that someone purchased. I love when people purchase custom fragrances. It's like, wow, that's so nice. Makes me feel really special that you like my um, scent recipes. So I blended that uh, here within the funnel picture and I packed fragrances really well. I was speaking with an owner, of, uh, she's a vendor now, like she sells wax and fragrance oils and she was like, that's how you start. You start off with just selling one thing. Like she started with like selling cubes of coconut apricot cream when it was sold out in 2020 and then she began this huge empire so she was like place start <laughs> i don't know if i'll do a manufacturer i heard saying hey Crockett was having trouble with his but um yeah here's me just funneling into the 16 ounce if anything i would just sell fragrances i wouldn't sell like any other supply <laughs> everything else i don't want to deal with but i love fragrances um, but yeah, I just pour it carefully and then I love to go in and reinforce it with this white circle thing. I bought these in 2022 because I was like, I'm going to go crazy. People are going to buy all these fragrances and y'all stay buying them. I sold out a lavender vanilla or focus last year and I restocked it this year. Just, but it was just crazy. It was just so aggressive. How many people, when I said it, how many people purchased yeah. fragrance oil from me. Um, but yeah, here I am packing another yeah. fragrance and what I like to do is take some plastic and put it over that white uh like comment if you know what that white little circle is called but it's necessary for us manufacturers oh, i'm not a manufacturer but you know what i mean uh, it's necessary and i use a heat gun that's what i'm putting in there take the plastic and a heat gun and i just heat that white thing down to make sure that it is stuck there because you want it to be stuck i mean i've seen manufacturers send fragrance oil without this step but i do it this way because i think it's such a good idea to make sure it doesn't spill if there's anything i can do to make sure i'm gonna make sure because i'm not like one of these big people who have like route insurance who you can file a claim with if something spills if something spills and you tell me it spills i'm gonna have to like replace it so i don't want to do with that but um yeah i have sealed it double sealed it there's no anyone could tell me something spilled because of the things that i do <laughs> like this gorilla tape that's not regular tape that's gorilla so we're good to go and then from there i put on my label like that and i also just carefully put it in a ziploc bag to reinforce the fact that even if it's still it's still in your bag it's not in the box like i do not play <laughs> You could just pour that into the bottle. But then someone also ordered cashmere vanilla cream, which is weird to me. Like, think about that. That's such a winter scent. But I'm grateful. But it's just to me, whatever goes on in the minds that people refer to me, I'm just like, cashmere vanilla cream. You know it's the winter. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart that's that maturity. And we don't keep it on the standing
diamonds and finding peace. Honestly. Hi guys, how's it going? What's up, what's up, what's up? So it's Friday and I realized it has come to my attention. I haven't really been doing much for you guys this week. I've just been, I don't know, living my life like it's golden, like it's La Vida Loca. She got dumps like a truck. All I do is get up, get in the shower, go to the gym. That's it. It's, it's really toxic. That's not healthy for your goals. I have goals. And shout out to the girl. Okay, this brought me to very much emotions this morning because I randomly woke up at 3 a.m. And what I've been doing, like when I wake up super early, is just not going back to sleep. I don't know. It's just been my thing recently, which I like because they talk about how when you're up, when nobody else is up, there's less people talking to God, so you can talk to God, and it's clear, it's clear communication. And plus, you get creative insights into what you should be doing. And I wasn't doing those two things. Um, I was actually just scrolling on Facebook, and this girl, she said, because it's so ironic, because I'm working on a candle making course, she was like, do you guys know of any candle making courses that you could use to learn how to make candles? She said something like that. And, um... She said that and then in the comment section they were like I get all my knowledge from YouTube videos and they started listing all of these big YouTubers, Black Tie Barn, Memory Box Candle Co, Stanley Handcraft, and they put Boss Vision. I'm like, big tubers? Like, are you serious? Boss Vision, what's up, boss babe? It's me, that's Boss Vision. It made me emotional. So I was like, okay, that's a big sign that I should continue to do this because it's literally killing me. I would like to shoot myself in the face every day going on YouTube, posting, and it's like a slow growth. But um, <laughs> it just motivated me that she said that. I was like, slow growth, okay. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and just, We'll see what happens. But that was so sweet. It was like 4 a.m. when I saw her comment. I was getting emotional. Oh my God, that was great. But plus, I have to make this course a hot throw masterclass because that was the video that was really popular in 2021 on my channel, How to Get a Strong Hot Throw. And that was really the main reason why I started making candles um, or candle making videos is because I noticed that a lot of people don't know how to get a hot throw. And I was y'all, but I was a brief amount of time. Because, like, what happens with me is if I don't know how to do something, I'm going to fight with it until I know how to do it. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how many times I fell. I don't care how many times I feel stupid, look stupid, think stupid, lose, you know, lose. As many times as I lose, is as many times it's going to take for me to win. So I'm going to keep going, <laughs> you know? So... That was how it was with candle making. I was like, I can't get a good hot throw for some reason, but I'm gonna just keep doing it. I'm gonna just keep making these candles. So that's what I did. I just kept making them. And then I figured out a recipe for several different waxes because at the time I did the worst thing, which hopefully y'all don't do. I over purchased. In 2020, your girl was on unemployment. So I was getting like, I don't know, $600 a week. Was that $600 a week? No, I think I was getting $800 a week. $800 a week, and plus I had a student refund, so I had these little, and plus, like, I don't know, I don't know, for some reason, I had money to spend that was stupid, irrationally a lot, and I was like, let's just spend it on candle, crystal, or candles, crystals eventually, but don't do that, don't do the crystals, but, um, candle stuff, and I would find myself purchasing, um, 10 pounds of IGI 606 or 10 pounds of this wax, 10 pounds of this wax. So I had all of this wax and I wanted to make use of it. So I made sure I figured out a way to get a hot throw with them. And I'm super proud because um, the soy paraffin was the hardest one to get right. Like <laughs> I put in Sandy Headcraft's video. I'm gonna, if I can find it, I'll put it in this video. But in his group, this post went viral. I was like, a great hot throw is better than a great orgasm right now. I was like, at this point, a great hot throw is better than an orgasm. <laughs> because at that point it was. Like, I was like, why is it so hard to find out a recipe? Like. IGI, I was getting sinkholes, I was getting no hot throw, it was just so challenging. Oh, so Ting, my Wix, Eco Series Wix was hitting the wall, I was getting brown, black soot on the wall, it was not a good vibe. So what I've done 
um, is curate recipes. I actually have them for free on visionofvoice.com. I'll link them down below if you want to access those. No, you know what? I'm taking them down. I'm so tired of giving people free game. Like, <laughs> that was something it's been heavy on my heart too. It's just so many people asking real detailed, granular questions about my business because they notice I'm doing well and it's important to um, be compensated for that. Knowledge is money. But yeah, y'all, today I'm not really doing anything pressing. I'm trying to, to not go to the gym. I'm obsessed with the gym. Uh, yeah, you can see the results resulting. But I'm trying not to go to the gym. I really want to hit quads. Just one good quad day. I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, but yeah. I want to actually make a bubble candle today. I have this bubble thing here. So apparently I need a needle and thread. And thread this and put a bubble in there or something. So I want to do that. Plus I got a new melter guys. You can't see it. But this melter here is from 2 Auto. I've had it for 2 years. And for some reason, I honestly didn't know how to use it for a while. So I was messing up with, um, I was actually leaving this on for multiple days. So I was leaving it on warm for f several days. And I think that probably deterred it or damaged it because you about to see something really. I hate textures, but I'm pretty sure like it's going to do it. Okay. Yo, it's not that bad. Okay. So I'll show you what happens underneath. Like, I can see spillage. You see that spillage? That's under That's under the candle warmer. So, that leads me to believe it's leaking. And then, if we go inside. See inside? It's old school. It's been through it. It's like, tired of me. This is just a product of me leaving it on too long, I think. So... Don't do that. Don't be like me in a world full of Talishas. Do butter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you know better, you should do better. <laughs> this wide lens is making y'all see everything. This is lit. I love this lens. Like at first, sometimes for me, I will hate something. But then if I can't return it, I'll learn more about it and individually love it. So, yeah. I'm getting this kid's meal from Outback, which is causing me a bird to get thicker. And a snicker, but it has uh, chicken tenders, fries, and pineapple juice for ten dollars, and it's very delicious. But I'm stop. I'm done. I'm delivered. I'm delivered from that. Um, yeah, I have to make this bubble candle. I packed the order yesterday. I'm noticing I'm packing more orders than I thought it would be this month. And it's like, of course, everybody's ordering more because of the free candle. But like, Brody, chill out. So I need to put. I need to create this bubble candle. I was gonna create a bubble candle for you guys and then i'll create one for tiktok I'll probably do them at the same time but i have i need to put things on my site like i have a lot of candles over there that i need to put on my site oh by the way guys if you have a package and you're at like your personal mailbox and you see usps people they'll take your package for you or you could schedule a pickup and leave a package outside of your door and usps will come take it to uh drop it off for transit put it in transit for you which is so great because usps for me is like 10 minutes out on one side like if i go this way because i live in the middle of two different three four different cities like durham raleigh morrisville and Cary. so i'm like 10 minutes away from usps but why why waste gas if you just dropping off a few orders so somebody could come get it for you because they're already here and they're already like they're coming here to drop off some stuff and then they're just going to go back to the um usps he was so sweet he was like yeah anytime you see somebody you could just give them your packages it's fine i was like oh my god that's so nice thank you one thing you never do is just absolutely never drop off a package at ups that has a usps label they will steal that shit from you i got robbed in 2020 i bought an air fryer and i was returning it um and i dropped it off at us ups i didn't really know about parcel postal and stuff and they actually took the um they took the product they took it they showed it uh, i don't know i followed i could i didn't find my tracking number or nothing i just ended up having to just waste 200 dollars. but yeah so yeah 
I gotta go get this from the mailbox and show you guys what it looks like. I really just want to go to the gym so bad and I don't know why I'm addicted. Guys, I'm addicted. I'm addicted, addicted, addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. Close your eyes to get away Just bang my line and I'll arrange it Beautiful, girl, you're stainless You'll be fine, I'll be painless, yeah All I'm drinking is champagne All you want is the same thing Yeah The 10,000 building, get your ass an apartment Put you inside a G-Class, that's just a start It can plenty things kind of like Huge <laughs> So big, oh god Okay This is the 2 auto wax melting furnace He sent the 15 liter This is a 15 And this one we have here is only a 6.5 So we're getting a double the size candle uh, maker So Stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. And then, ooh, it smells. I love the new uh, wax melter smell. Yeah, this is big. But it's super clean. Excited to use it. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, let's talk about this 2 Auto. So, I got this melter from 2AutoTool.com. It carries 15 quarts, which would be 60 eight ounce candles and what i love the most was that it has the temperature control dial of 86 degrees fahrenheit to 212 degrees which is perfect for candle making and it can help you with any different type of wax like soy beeswax paraffin coconut wax whatever you have it's only going to go up to 212 so you don't have to worry about burning your wax or overdoing it um, it has a very fast melt time yeah so i actually use this and i did tart wax which is the hardest wax and was able to melt down within minutes super excited about using this over and over and what i love the most is the heated core pouring spout so no more clogs so that spout there is actually going to stay warm while you're pouring so you don't have to worry about any wax getting stuck in there and then these melters come in five quarts eight quarts or 15 quarts so the one you're looking at right now is the biggest one they have right beside it i have an eight quart i would recommend starting with an eight quart and then scaling to the 15 but if you want a large batch of candles now and you know what go for it girl like get the 15 the 15 is only on their site to auto.tool.com but you can also get the eight ounce or the eight quart one on their amazon and i'll link both down below it is just an amazing solution guys it also has an auto warm mode so after you pour if you forget to turn it off it will not burn your wax at the bottom oh my god i think this is an innovation from their last one the eight liter because my wax burned at the bottom <laughs> to be honest and i had to strain the wax that's why i was wearing a strainer last week if you were asking me that someone commented that i use a strainer because i burned wax so i love this melter and you can get it with the links in the description and if you use my code boss vision 15 you will get 15 percent off so great deal uh, i don't think i've seen any wax melters with the 15 percent off so yeah you're going to get the lowest cost and the market so take advantage while it lasts and yeah enjoy guys look what i found i'm just gonna put it right above it i can cry bro this i found in my garage so as you can see this is what i used to do in 2020 when i was unemployed i had to do this black coffee brush teeth wash face shower clean your kitchen clean your bedroom living room den sweep workout meal prep stretch Grace balance form. I never really completed these tasks. I left it like this for a little, little long time. But yeah, today we're gonna complete tasks, okay? And it's easier for y'all to see a black one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. I'm trying to find my hand sanitizer right now. I lost, oh there it is, okay. I have had an energy drink and a green tea. And green tea has caffeine in it too. So I'm just throwing hand sanitizer up here because I don't have any alcohol or I do have alcohol. I just don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna wipe this down. I'm so happy to be using this. I haven't used this in four years. I just had it in my garage. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells like hand sanitizer. How many you used to smell your hand sanitizer when you're at school? You just smell it, you know? Or, in the, or smell markers. We used to do weird stuff like that. 
Okay, guys, I've been singing Celidas. Today, 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 we got things to do. So, this is the let's see if this will work. Yeah, come on. Murder gang shit, 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 mur
saw me make all of those crafts. So now we're about to go to Michael's and pick up my gold flakes and my fall molds. I'm super excited for this because I was watching this uh, 300K a year candle maker and she said it's very important for you to have something unique in your candle that sticks out so you can increase your sales. So I'm going to test out her theory and actually have gold flakes and, and these beautiful, um, you know, fall molds. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Let's go, y'all. It's ready for pickup. It was, I ordered it 30 minutes ago. It's already ready. Shout out to Michael being Chick-fil-A today. So the Michaels I ordered from actually was out of stock of gold foil. So that's why my order was so quick. So I didn't even go there. I just went straight to the one that is in stock. And I didn't even place an order. I just went in and I was going to check to see if it was there. And yes, I love this one. It's actually like a Super Michaels. It has way more stuff than the other Michaels. And yes, they had it, y'all. So happy. Okay, guys. So they had two of the gold flakes there and I just in my mind I was like these are really hard to find like they're not in any other Michaels maybe I should get two so I got two and they had 20% off code so I really spent six dollars on two instead of eight which I'm happy about and then I also got an additional 20% off code um there are molds at the other one in Briar Creek but I'm thinking I'm not going to make molds today just because I just wanted to have gold flakes in. I think that'd be really pretty by itself. Okay, I never really explained why I was doing this gold, or maybe I sort of did earlier, but I wanted to reiterate that I had been researching ways to make my brand stand out and, you know, do something different for the fall. And I thought, why not do gold flakes in a candle? I think with everyone purchasing candles, to feel a certain emotion, why not allow people to feel luxury with gold flakes? And I'm definitely gonna say 14 karat gold flakes uh, infused candle, cause that just makes people feel really bougie and rich, you know? It's a good vibe, honestly. It was such a hassle to learn, like what are the common problems that candle making solves? And once I uh, researched that one larger influencer who has 300K, she makes 300K a year, uh, from candle making she marbles her candles and I didn't want to do marbling just because that's a headache but I did love doing um, crystal candles because that was such a crazy selling point but based upon what the crystals represent in a different you know spirituality I had to toss that idea but this is such a new innovation that I didn't even know was possible to have gold flakes in your candle I think it's such a pretty touch like for the summer or no for the fall I'm gonna make sure I launch this in the fall to have gold flakes in your candles like this will go really well at a holiday market like this I got a candle infused with gold like people want to have a story to take back to their friends and family when somebody comes over to the house like oh wow what candle brand smells good it's, it's, it's this golden this candle it's golden for you so i just wanted to use that as a selling point for my business in the fall i'd recommend you guys think of something to make your candles unique as well whether it be marbling coloring your candles adding in molds i was going to do a mold um you know what i mean like a clamshell of like a leaf so it would be like an orange leaf in a wax melt form on the top of the candle. But um, some, for some reason, we go to that Michaels today. But I might go next week and show you guys how I do that. But yeah, having molds on the top of your candles. There's a viral candle business who has, she has like candy hearts on the top of her candles. Just anything that would stand out. You want to be original as possible uh, just to make sure that your business catches someone's eye when they're scrolling to make them stop scrolling and this is a four wick candle i did that so that it would stand out as well because typically you're going to see one two or three but this is four and people are like oh yeah i want to burn four candle wicks that's like what's it called dip tea that's bougie so i'm super excited to start this line y'all comment what you think of the gold flakes Because I made a fall wax melt 
I wanted to make a fall wax melt label. I have a video on how to make a candle label, which I'll link in the description. A lot of people find it helpful when you don't want to purchase labels outsourced because you're a small business. You don't know if you're going to have a hundred orders of that one candle scent. So if you have a printer and you have some labels, you're able to make them at home and I can show you exactly how in the video. But here, I just love my labels. I always make them look like what they smell like. <laughs> so this is one of my apple cider. God, this smells so good. I got this scent from Hive and Honey. I also have a link for that. And yeah, then I have a bubble candle fail guys a bubble candle fail this was a huge fail i used coconut wax don't do that like coconut wax you use any wax but coconut soy is recommended there's a hive and honey soy that's recommended which i'll link down below it was sticky <laughs> so pretty though pink but it was sticky you don't want a sticky bubble candle you want a firm bubble candle but i love to show you guys when i fail honestly y'all love to see when people fail anyway so i want to show you <laughs> because that's just how it is when you watch them and you want to see what they're doing wrong and i failed at a bubble candle but i'm gonna redo it next week and we'll see how it goes i'm super excited to do that i'm gonna use that other bubble candle just to light it myself on this stuff personally but yeah i'm adding the labels i have the perfect size labels for my wax melts i know you guys know how hard it is to find those if you want those that will be linked in the description as well um typically with wax melt labels you're gonna get like a two by three and it's gonna like have the corners of the wax melt out but it's fully covered with these labels and then yeah i was just taking product photos i haven't posted those just yet but um I made these candles for a market and I never post them on my site and I think that'll be a good additional revenue prior to the crazy fall season. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed how I create so many different things. I wanted this channel to be an opportunity for you to understand different strategies to success and then new creative ideas for you to incorporate in your own business. If you haven't already, I definitely suggest grabbing your ultimate candle making survival guide. It is linked in the description of this video down below. You can gain access to actionable items to take your business to the next level before the crazy holiday season it would be a wash or be so horrible if you actually risked the success of your business within 2023's huge shopping series as you saw with amazon prime day they were able to exceed expectations during a recession imagine how it's going to be for small businesses on black friday definitely grab your survival guide before the black friday rush and i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day your week your next hour just live in your purpose and love life okay bye so